Hey fans, I'm Pete Deluski from BRG and Chase BMX, and today we're here at stop number three and four of the UCI BMX 2020 World Cup Tour. We're here with Connor Fields, as always, one of the top riders. Another race he won last weekend, as you remember, just five days ago, won back in Shepparton, and we headed in today. Uh, what we usually do these videos, just to give you a little insight, we let Connor race his first round if we don't get to things on Friday, and we do an interview of the intro of the race and how things are going to turn out. Well, today's a little bit different. Turns out with the weather conditions, they basically just raced one time today. And uh, through the magic of UCI and their rule book, they basically deemed this the rider with the fastest time that was qualified first going into the motos, the winner. So every rider, the first qualified rider in the 16 motos were put in a category out of those 16 motos. Whoever had the fastest time was the winner. And that's this guy right here, time trial champion. Don't forget the time trial back in the day may have helped you today but yeah so you win a second win on the world cup pretty impressive again shortened day but still a win is a win yeah um i mean i knew coming in that today was going to be the opportunity was there that it was going to get canceled or cut or something and um you know i was aware of the rule that your previous laps lap time uh, whatever round that is whether it's round one the eighth the quarter if they call the race that previous round your lap time is going to be what scores you so i knew that coming in and my plan was to just run as fast as I could all day which really doesn't change from my plan normally but um, kind of even, even more so here just because I knew there was a chance for that to happen and it turns out that that's, that is what indeed happened they made the decision after the end of the first round to call the race um, and that left me with the win. So some riders may not understand how difficult it is to ride a supercross track in adverse conditions now we know you're professional your Olympic champion, your two-time USA BMX champion, but still you have to, and you're really good at adapting as we saw from Shepparton to here to completely different tracks, but those are somewhat things you could control. You ride the track, you get used to it. When you get on the gate with really bad wind and rain, everyone has to deal with rain that races BMX, but when you get in the really bad wind and you're on these bigger tracks, explain to people how different it is because we see some people say, oh, you should just run it, just send it. At the same point, we're in Olympic year, we're doing all these things, but talk about how difficult it is to just send it, like the fan, the internet fans love to say, <laughs> when you're out here on the track at the Supercross. I don't know, look, like these are the best guys in the world out here, you know, we've got the 120 best guys and the, the 50 best girls in the world at what we do that are out here. And, um, I think just watching the races in the first round made it pretty clear that there's nothing we could have be, been doing um, to improve the, the conditions and it was what it was and I think you saw quite a few crashes and people that were uncomfortable because of what it is and um, you know for those people that are that like to say that we should run it and, and, and whatever and it's different when you're sitting on the starting hill and, and you know, I think Kai getting hurt today puts it all in perspective like it's just a BMX race, you know, there's going to be another one down the road, you know, there's, there's always going to be another one, but, you know, bad injuries are forever, and um, no one here wants any other competitors to, to deal with injuries and things like that, and BMX is dangerous, inherently, it's just part of the game, it is dangerous, it's what we've chosen to do, and we acknowledge that there is always the risk when we get in the starting gate of getting injured, but because it's already risky, why would you want to continue to do it when it becomes even more risky, you know, and and I think that um, the UCI was faced with a tough choice today. It was bad weather, but everyone's come from around the world to Australia. This is Olympic year. It's important stuff. I mean, I'm glad I wasn't in that room having to make that decision. Um, but at the end of the day, I just, you know, to be not to be cliche, but I focused on what I could control, and that was riding fast lap time, knowing that it could get canceled. And I was sitting in my seat listening to music, and someone's like, good job, you won. And sweet. Like, you know, it's nothing I could have done there. And... Uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where we're at. All right, speaking of, we do have another race tomorrow, so hopefully we'll get to, to that. But right now, let's show you Connor's round one three, lap, yeah. one lap winning <laughs> lap here in, in Bathurst. And how, we'll be back to you tomorrow with a recap for the overall weekend. But right now, it's Connor Fields' back-to-back -back wins on the UCI BMX World Cup. At Bathurst. Alrighty, here we go. Heat number one is underway. Connor Fields on the inside looking for an early hole shot. And it looks like he's going to get... Oh, one rider gets it ever so wrong. Just uh, heading into turn number one. It's Fields, Webster, Katishev, Shimada. One, two, three, and four. Katishev coming under pressure. But Connor Fields is leading this one out into turn number two. The German rider, Webster, right there behind him. But Fields is opening up a gap now. 0.514 of a second as they go into that third straight. 
Connor feels smooth and on the move into the final turn. Webster coming under pressure from Katyshev. Is Katyshev going to catch him down this short final straight? No, he's not. He's going to have to settle for, for three rock and roll calls. I need my box. All right, I'm Pete Deluski from Chase BMX and BRG. We're here with Connor Fields. Connor, I think that's a wrap here in Bathurst. Yesterday you got to race. The way it worked out, you did one lap. You had the fastest time. The race was halted. You're the overall winner, so it's great your second win in a row. Looks like today, day four, the weather conditions have gotten worse. More wind, more rain, so it looked like the day is going to be canceled. But overall, the weekend, I know you didn't get to race that much, but let's just get a recap from your perspective on how the things went in Bathurst and your entire trip in Australia. Yeah, you know, most of all, I, I feel bad for all the organizers and everybody who put a lot of work in, not only for putting the event on, but also the athletes and staff and everyone for being here. Um, we were here a couple weeks ago, and the weather was fine track was great and I was actually really looking forward to racing. I, th I think it would have been a lot of fun. Um, you know, so I feel for all the people that put everything together to try to make this happen. But As a top tier athlete, uh, a lot of people always ask you what you do for training, all these things. And we actually do a feature every Monday, uh, every other Monday with you and then the other weeks with Joris about Pro Tip Monday. And uh, it's always a lot of positive responses, but kids always ask, like, are these the things you do? Because sometimes they're just basic fundamentals. But from your opinion, tell how important those basic fundamentals are from a new racer all the way to an elite top Olympic and uh, USA BMX champion like yourself. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, the way that I look at it is, is a lot of people focus on the one percenters, right? They look for that one percent. I'd rather focus on getting the 99 percent right. That's the fundamentals. And to me, getting the fundamentals right on and off the bike, you know, with training, with approach, nutrition, sleep, the way you ride, the way you race, your mindset, all that stuff. To me, that's more important than losing a few grams here, you know, or, or little bits and pieces there like that. Um, so that's the way I look at it, and I think especially for younger riders, and most of those tips are aimed at younger riders who are just starting out, and um, practicing the fundamentals is the best way to get better, and it's simple things like manualing, like we manual every race, you know, we jump every race, we have gate start every race, you know, the things that, the same things that an eight-year-old that is working on at home is the same things I'm working on, my gates, my sprints, my, my turns, things like that. Um, it never stops. You just keep getting better and better. And obviously, there's more advanced techniques, but you can't get to those advanced techniques until the fundamentals are down. So there you got it, fans. Tune in every Monday. You'll catch Connor every other week on Pro Tip Monday. Also, you can follow Connor on Instagram. He always puts a lot of nuggets of gold for kids and gives it behind-the-scenes scoops because, you know, racing, we see it on the, you know, on the telecast, on TV how hard it is, but behind the scenes, you still have a lot of fun and we want people to remember that's the whole reason you started racing BMX. Absolutely. I, I, I wouldn't do this if it wasn't fun. You know, if it was just stressful and, and all that, it, it wouldn't be enjoyable. Like obviously not every bit of it's fun. It's some parts feel like a job, you know, sitting on airplanes and, um, you know, training on days, you know, I train on Christmas, things like that aren't always fun, but you got to enjoy it, you know, and, and surround yourself with people who you like being around and enjoy the ups and the downs because no matter who you are, you're not going to win every race. And just learning to kind of in, embrace the journey if you want to be cliche. Well, there you have it, fans. That's a wrap up from here in Bathurst. Unfortunately, no racing today. But yesterday when we did have a race, this guy right here, the champion, just like the last stop that we had leading the overall World Cup. Congratulations, Connor Fields. Thanks so much. We appreciate everything you do for Chase BMX, but at BMX in general as being such a role model and the Olympic champion. So that's it, fans. Tune in, as we said, on our Instagram and follow all the journey throughout the rest of the season with Connor, with Chase BMX, all the stuff you can see on BMX Live TV. And, uh, buy, and buy Connor's bike because we really got to pay him buy a lot of all. money for every time he wins buy a race. <laughs>